here we are, boys and girls. We're at the New Hope Church track. Uh, the bucks have really started chasing the does. Temperatures, it was in the 50s this morning. Now, if we're around here, that's pretty chilly. Wish it was a little bit chillier, but I mean, that's hopefully it'll be chilly enough. We're hoping we got plenty of does in here. And uh, by now, the bucks are really chasing the does around here, so. We, uh, we ought to have some bucks in here in this, uh, following these does around. So, uh, it is, uh, Saturday, October 29th. We're on May Rant Road at the New Hope Church property. We're going to bring you a hunt here in just a second. Stand by. Hey there, guys. Another Bubble Round Tree Outdoors video is coming to you right now. station but um looks like they molested yeah, they, him they molested him. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh uh oh <laughs> <laughs> right, I got evidence child molestation <laughs> No meat back no. There. No, ain't no meat. Hey, you should see. Thursday we had him dress up, partner. baseball conditioning, yeah, that Halloween costumes. He that came out there. $60. You think he looks skinny now? What do you have, compression on? He could have hid behind that tether right there. <laughs> All right, let's go to the church. All right, let's go. Let's go to the church. I ain't talking about Sunday now. I'm talking about right now. Okay. <laughs> Both times. Captain Buster of Bubba Round Tree Outdoors finally got back on a dog hunt. I was booked for two Saturdays in a row, but I'm back in the saddle today. We're hunting what we call the uh, Bayrat Road Drive, or we call it New Hope Church Drive. But uh, anyway, they ought to be packed in there. The old books is chasing the does and. So, we're going to see what happens. All right, turn you back on a little bit. Morning, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and turn you on. They said they jumped a deer in the cut over as they were going in, so just in case she's coming this way, I'm going to turn you on and start you back up. But if nothing comes this way, I'll just turn you back off and just wait till the drive starts. So, I'll talk to you on a little bit.
Yeah. Somebody just shot a coyote. I don't know if I had to get through all them trees, but I had 54 buck shotguns in there, so maybe I did. This fellow's got a random in the dust there where he was standing. Just grabbed a briar. Jump stick to start off with, son. Oh, yeah. Am I blinking? Oh, no, <laughs> Woo! Woo! I'll tell you once we get farther in. Woo! Woo! Get up out of here! Where them dogs going? coming right to us.
did y'all see me dart down the road about 150 yards, maybe even 200 yards. Then I darted back up here. They say the dogs had turned and was coming down toward this end. I believe that fella, the last guy we put out before me, shot. The dog shut up, so he must have killed. All right, I'm ready again. Hey Stevie, what's going on, boy? Y'all doing any good? Well, they did some shooting and all that down there. Yeah. They uh, they coming on out now. They I think that out? yeah, the first drive's over. Uh, Dad, I think Dad's probably about two stands down mm -hmm. from right here. He shot just a little while ago. Did he? Yeah, I think they're out there looking right now. But yeah, they on down. I think they're coming out right about where Dad is at. I think David here is fixing to come on out. The drivers are coming on out now. Okay. So. But I think they're going to swap around and hunt the other side here in a minute. All right. How you doing, Uncle Bubba? Good to see you, bud. <laughs> All, right, All right, guys. See you. Okay. Uncle Bubba just stopped by for a visit. Hi everybody, you've been asking about Uncle Bubba, there he is. How you doing Stevie? That's his son Stevie, he done brung him over here hunting. There you go. <laughs> I shot twice down there, but the deer was about 150 yards. Have you shot I shot twice, but they was about 150 yards out there in that cutover. And uh, I, they were parallel in the road. I was hoping they was gonna come onto the road, but they were parallel in it. I didn't even scare the first. I shot it to be it was a bigger than a, a yearling, and I shot it no bigger. It didn't even scare the first shot. She looked all around. I said, "Ooh, that's a long shot," but I scared her that second shot. All right, they talk like the dogs is bringing one back, so we are ready. I sent Bubba down there to that stand we had left open. As Dad darts down the road, he realizes he hadn't turned his gun camera on, and when he reaches to turn it on, the buck crosses right there, about a hundred yards down the road from him. He run over, it sounded like he ran through a top. Did you hear that big snap? Captain Buster was telling Charlie to look out, but I don't think anybody saw this buck again.
Well, boys and girls, that's going to wrap the first hunt. I ain't much heard anything about what's happened. And uh, Dad shot, and uh, I think David's, uh, David Stokes killed a couple. But we'll get it straightened out here in a little bit. Yeah, I got her. I was getting everything turned around and set up for a second drive when she walked out on the second drive side, so nothing was on. Yeah, she's down. I'm going to go finish her off. Tempo. We were getting ready to setting up for the second hunt. Josh was spinning everything around. I was sitting here, all my cameras were off too. And uh, the dogs brought the old big doe back out. And she stepped out in the road and Josh hammered her, no cameras on, nothing. Uh, so, hey, that's the way it worked out today. Just goes to show you guys, it's always a good idea to have the cameras rolling all the time when you're in deer country. You just never, ever, ever know what's gonna happen when you're on a deer hunt, or especially on a deer drive, when deer are up moving everywhere. But we all try to conserve battery life and card space and all that as much as we can on these long hunts. Okay, well Josh has got meat down. That's good. That uh, here another pack running right back over here, guys. We're fixing to do the second hunt. It ought to be a good one. Stand by. Well, we didn't get to hear the shot, but Josh just killed a big doe down there. We his first deer of the year. But that'll get him started. Well, you know, the second drive was just starting. I killed a doe while the camera out there. I was setting everything up for the setting everything up for the second drive. I had all the cameras off, had my GoPro off, had it off my head, was turning everything around, and the doe walked out down there, so I shot her. But oh well, maybe a buck come out this drive and I can shoot him too. Hopefully, I won't miss. Tell y'all a little bit. Oh, please. Let's go. Woo! Look at him Oh, I about jumped in that hole. How's that demon? Well, dang. The second drive hadn't even gotten started. The deer was still moving. Josh saw a big yearling and it was heading down towards me, but 
I don't think anybody saw this deer again after Josh saw it. Yearling coming to you, Uncle Wade. Yearling coming to you. About seven minutes later, another little yearling came out by Josh. Another yearling here in your way, Uncle Wade. This one's even smaller. It looks like about 30 pounds. We were about 10 minutes into the second drive, and we got into some real excitement here on the top of this hill. I'm about 100 yards to your left over here, David. Yeah, 10 4, I'm angling away from you, going towards the sun now. Roger. Sounded like summer on. When I saw these two big nannies coming over the top of that hill, I did everything I could to try to put some horns on them, but it just wasn't going to happen. I really didn't want to have to burn another tag if I could help it, but if she was going to bail out in this big dirt road where I could take her on camera real pretty for you guys, I was going to do it, but it just didn't work out. They ran up the hill right by Josh again, and Josh had already killed her, though. They stayed on top of the hill. They were up there towards you, Josh. Uh, it looked like does. Well, I don't know if you guys could see them, but they, I could see them down through there. They were, they said they were two big does. I couldn't get a, I couldn't get a clear shot at them. Dog's gonna get on them here in just a minute. They are. Two big does. I put a little pep in their step. Josh shoots high and behind the deer. Put some buckshot through the trees to keep them moving. Yeah, they're heading towards um, Cimarron Road now. Two big does. dog that's closer to the deer ain't opening, so.
well guys it's getting hot and everybody they are, we got uh, Heath out looking for a deer and they're trying to catch the dog so we may not be able to get everybody together before we wrap this thing up Josh did kill a good meat deer and uh, like I said it's getting hot so we got Captain Buster here and Josh we're at New Hope Church it was a great hunt so uh, we'll be back with another one soon guys bye bye Beck and Heath are checking out where Heath put a whole load of buckshot in an oak tree a couple weeks ago when he was shooting at a buck. But I spoke to Greg and JP and they said that uh, after looking over there on Cimarron Road, the boys shot over there, but they didn't kill anything. So it was David Stokes had a big doe and a spike and shot a couple of coyotes too, guys. It was a great hunt. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back with another one soon. Bye-bye.